Hello everyone, so as you can tell by the title of this video, uh, this video is about adjusting to life away from home and I wanted to film this because it takes about four hours for me to get home so I can't really just go home whenever I feel like it, like I, I know a lot of people in my experience do that, like if they just want to go home on the weekends they do that, but for me it's a lot harder, it's a lot more expensive and it felt like a really big move to be doing. So yeah, I just want to give a few tips if I can for things that I think it would help and things that did help me. Yeah, enjoy. So the first thing that I found really important to me was to make my room look as homely as possible. I'm quite lucky with the fact that the uni room here is a very similar size to my room at home so everything has fit in really nicely and it was all just like the perfect amount of things to break. Put in some shots here but um, I tried really hard to make it really colourful and homely looking because for me I really loved my room at home and it felt like a really like like a safe space uh, and I just loved it and I felt really comfortable there as I'm sure many people do in their bedrooms um, so it was just really important to me to have that space here Although I know there are people here at uni that don't find it that important and have really bothered with their rooms and that's fine of course I mean when you're at uni it's not the most important thing obviously it's to study and have a good time but for me I really wanted to make my room look nice and I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. You can see here that I collected cards all through the summer before I moved to uni because my plan was to put them up on the wall there to make like kind of collage. I put lots of cards around my room. I've got fairy lights. I so recommend fairy lights. But you can see them there in the mirror. And me. Oh. Yeah, posters, fairy lights, plants. Oh my god, plants. I mean, I. Mm. Plants, but maybe don't buy too many plants because I feel like that's what I've done and I can't look off them all. And you can see in one of these shots that one isn't looking so happy actually. So that would be my first tip is to make your room a comforting space for you. Because you'll go to lectures, you'll go to seminars, you might have a stressful day, you might be really tired and you'll come back to your room and you'll be, I was going to say you'll be far away from home, but you might not be, you might be quite close to home, but you won't be at home and you'll want your bedroom. And so that's why I think it's important to have this space that reminds me of your bedroom. And this feels like my homely bedroom now. My next tip would be to explore where you live because you might get to uni and you might miss all the things that you have at home and you might miss the scenery and the things that wherever you live has to offer. But if you look for them, you'll 100% be able to find these kind of things in the new place that you live. For me, that was really easy because the place I live back home really has not a lot to offer. Leicester has quite a lot, at least for me. I'm really happy with it. Like it's got loads of clubs, loads of restaurants. Me and my friends have been to so many parks around here now and it just really helps to appreciate the new place that you're living in and also it's just it's good to get out if you're studying a lot it's good to go out and get some fresh air my third tip would be to put yourself out there I don't feel like I'm I was about to say I don't feel like I'm an extroverted person but I'm sitting I'm sat here with a camera in front of me so I feel like that's a bit ironic generally when making friends I don't really feel like I'm good at putting myself out there and being myself and being comfortable and so I know it's a lot easier said than done, but just really push yourself out there. Like I went to uni with no one here that I knew already and all of my friends were going to unis a lot closer to home. So I really felt like, I felt scared, but I also felt really prepared to just force myself to, to talk to people and just to make friends because I know that that's going to be an important thing when going to uni especially when far away from home and just sort of finding ways of joining all the clubs and all the extracurricular activities that you can because you're going to be really glad of that when you come out of uni I think. My fourth tip would be to allow yourself to miss home, to allow yourself to talk to people from home like you don't have to think okay I'm going to uni, I'm moving on, I don't you know I don't need these people from home anymore. For me that's so not the case. Me and my friends FaceTime at least once a week and I try to FaceTime my parents as often as I can and I think that's so important to of course have your friends at uni but you're not leaving home permanently. I still go home all the time and I'm still really glad I've got those friends, especially for like the summer holidays. And we visit each other, we visit each other in our unis. I think it is important to have friends in lots of different groups and university and home is one of those things. My fifth and final tip is quite cliche, but it is to just enjoy yourself because university is a choice that you made. It's not school, it's not compulsory. It's there for you. It's there for you to come out with a degree that will help you get the job that you want to get. And so you've got to enjoy your time. There's so much there that in my opinion makes it so much more enjoyable than school. And I think it does go a lot quicker than you might think. I can't believe that I've finished my first year already. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, and if you've got any of your own tips, I'd be great to leave in the comments below. I'd like to read them. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.